Hey guys, and welcome back to my real life car builds in GTA 5. In this episode, we're going to be taking a look at one of the other cars from the High Life DLC, and that is the Dubashi Massacaro. And for this build, we're going to be building the Aston Martin DBR9. So the Aston Martin DBR9 is a race version of the Aston Martin DB9, which is a very fast performance road car, and it was built specifically for the GT1 race category. The DBR9 is actually pretty different from the road car. Um, it has the same chassis, engine block, and cylinder heads of the road car, but pretty much everything else has been re-engineered as a race car. And it's definitely fast, being a 600 horsepower naturally aspirated V12. So in game, the car that most closely represents the DBR9 body shape is going to be the Massacro. This car also has traces of the Ferrari F12, so you'll notice that the front of the car doesn't really look like an Aston Martin at all, but the rest of the car pretty much does. And it's probably closer to the Vanquish body shape, but uh, I think it's going to be pretty close for this build. So like all the free DLC cars available in GTA, you can either get this car online or off. And once you've obtained the car, we're going to roll it into Los Santos Customs. I've decided for this build we're going to pick the British Racing Green theme, which is a theme that we chose for the Lotus a few episodes back, but we're not going to choose exactly the same styling options. So for our primary colour we're going to choose Racing Green, which is listed under Classic, and I've used the Pearl Glitch to apply the Frost White pearlescent over the top, and this makes the highlights just stand out a little bit more. For the window tint I've gone Limo just to black out those windows. Under the chassis option we've got the Race Roll Cage, and this actually adds a similar race style fuel cap onto one of the windows. For the wheel type, there wasn't anything that was 100% close to the race car, but the Dash VIP listed on the high end are a pretty good match. And for the wheel colour, we're going to go Stone Silver. For the hood, there's a couple of options, and I've gone with the Race Vented Hood because this is a pretty close match for the real DBR9. For the wing, I've chosen the GT Wing. You could also choose the Race Wing, which is not as tall and it's a little bit wider, but I think the GT Wing is a closer match. Under Fenders, we've got the option to put on these Race Wing Vents. And if you look at the real world car, you'll notice similar style vents above the front wheel arches. Under skirts, I've got a couple of different options and I've gone for the custom side skirt. For the bumpers, for the front, I've chosen the carbon race splitter, which gives us that nice big wide splitter at the front. And for the rear, I've gone for the rear race diffuser. For the exhaust, I've just gone for the titanium exhaust tips, but this is totally up to you. And for the grill, I've gone for the exposed intercooler, mainly for that tow bar, which is very consistent with the GT race cars. And as usual, all the other performance customization options we're going to max out. In my opinion, the stock Massacro isn't a very exciting looking car, but it's definitely got a lot of awesome customization options, and once you do this car up, it does look really awesome. Because of that Ferrari F12 styling at the front, you could also potentially do a Ferrari build with this car, which is maybe something I'll do in the future. But otherwise, as usual, I've stuck all my customization options in the description field, so you can go ahead and build your own DBR9. And other than that, I want to thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you later.